2016 Maserati Gran Turismo The Maserati Gran Turismo is a two-door, four-seat sports car manufactured since 2007. It is produced in Medina, Italy as a coupe and convertible versions. To be more precise convertible version appeared only since 2010. The 2016 Maserati Gran Turismo will be the last you will get out of the Italian factory. We expect it with powerful engines and more aggressive design. At first glance you immediately clear that this is a sport, cool they looks aggressive. The new model is according to the concept of moving the boundaries of elegance to a higher level. Muscular bonnet, redesigned grille and stronger lighting will bring a more aggressive look. On the rear roof line descends toward the rear lights. The interior is luxurious maximum and sporty equipped. Leather sports seats look very comfortable, and are located closer to the floor to provide a better feel while driving. The high level of equipment offered, especially in the segment of security and high technology will not leave anyone indifferent. Based on current information expect engines with 6 and A cylinders. With 6 cylinders expect 3L and 3HL twin turbocharged engine. With 8 cylinders expect 42L and 48L engine. With the acceleration of 0 to 62 mph for 5 seconds, new Gran Turismo can achieve the top speed up to 185 miles per hour. Or if you prefer 300 km slash h. The power of a 2 450 hp and 390 pounds speed of towards will be transmitted with 6 speed manual and automatic transmission. It is possible that the final launch came the turning point and be offered only with 8 cylinder engines. The company plans to release 2016 Maserati Gran Turismo on the primary market in late 2015. The primary market is of course Europe. North American market will get it a little later. So expect it in early 2016. There is speculation that the price could be around $125,000 for base model. The big news inside includes entirely new leather seats with integrated headrace front and rear. The pricey proposition crash test certifications don't come cheap for a car well into its life cycle. The new seats bolsters deliver comfort and support in equal measure, cradling but not constricting skeletal frames with the welcome familiarity of a favorite pair of jeans. Rear seat passengers get a nominal three quarters of an inch or so extra near room in the switch. The front seats are heated but not ventilated, and it took us a few minutes of groping to find the temperature control tucked away on the seat bottoms. It's not visible once you are seated. There's no messing the shiny, high-grip aluminum brake and accelerator pedals, though. Standard technology features sprinkled.